guys welcome back it's the Hearn Circle Life channel I'm excited we're going to review now about Chesterton World Adventure that we stayed on Monday yeah so we stayed at Safari Hotel at Chesterton from Monday 21st till Tuesday the 22nd so we stayed we did one night bed and breakfast and two day park ticket which came to £488 for two adults, two kids. Their ages are... Well, Faye's obviously... 12. Least, coming to 12. No, she's 12. She is 12 and yeah. Casey is... 10, 10 coming 11. So, yes, yeah, so that how much it cost, £488. That's bed and breakfast. Dinner was on top and lunch was on top. So, I'm just going to run through piece by piece. Yep. So, we're going to review. Sweet. Remember, like and subscribe, give us a little thumbs up, and here we go again. So first things first, obviously the travel from our home to Chesington. We decided to go from Gatwick to Dorking through into Leatherhead. I think so. And that was... We went the old fashioned way, didn't we? That's how I remember how my mum and dad used to take us to Chesington, because we used to live in like Horsham area. We just used to go like travel to Dorking, I think it's like Leatherhead, then Chesington Way. Um, that's the way we used to go to my granddad's when he lives up in London. But we found out coming back was easier because we went on the motorway, didn't we? So we went hit M25, M23, and it just seemed so much easier, so much quicker. So going forward, when, when and if we do do this again, we'll do the motorway rather than the a roads, is it A roads? A roads, yeah, Thank just you. stick to motorway. So much easier. So moving forward, we then ended up um, when we got near the resort, wasn't it? Um, there was two signs, if I remember rightly. One sign was to the park only, and the second sign was further on, round about 150 to 200 yeah, yards up the road, possibly. I think you had Chesington World of Adventures, didn't you? It's the first sign posted. Then you had Go Away Pen Gamp Glamping signpost on the left and then you have the hotel resorts which was safari and aztec hotel so you, it's all well signpost you can't get lost you follow it around come to the barriers the barriers automatically open up you have it's not car registration recognition it's just open up find a car parking space park up and then basically go into the hotel and check in just yeah. say that you're here blah, blah, yeah. blah. so guys obviously we parked up we went in, so our first impression as we walked in to the safari place was my first expression, looked clean, smelt good, surroundings looked great, and first of all as we came in we were greeted by two uh, like members, is that what yeah, you want to call them? Yeah, receptionist too, receptionist. And that's about us and saying we're booked for one night staying tonight, I know we can't check until three o'clock, but can we go in and use the park? from nine o'clock early admission and they said yes well, so we off we went had to go through safari hotel out towards aztec hotel and then wait at the gates uh, outside aztec hotel which is on the back end of the hotel at nine no eight forty five. yeah eight forty five. yes and you had to show you your hotel reservation go through then go to bag security check go through there you come up to the like the Wow. Like a little nature reserve, isn't it? Like yeah, you had the penguins, didn't you, on the left, didn't we? And as you came round, I think there was penguins. Um, what was the other thing that was there? I've... Skunks. The skunks, that Raccoons. was it. Raccoons. Monkeys. Oh, and we've got the monkeys and the um, parrots as well. Okay. They were there as well. So, yeah, it was quite nice while we were waiting. And then when you go through that bit, you then go up to, like, past the security that we had to get our bags checked and all that sort of the usual things that you have to go through security and then they open up the gates so now moving forward on to the next bit what we decided to do next because we had the early check-in was so basically what we did then was we thought well we have an hour and it was an hour wasn't it from nine o'clock till ten o'clock is resort guest only so Jumanji World, which is the brand new world that's opened up this year in Chessington, was open for only hotel guests from 9 till 10. So we thought, right, we hit that first. We haven't got to do any um, reserve and rides. It's just basically, well, basically a walk-on, isn't it, really? So we went Brilliant. Jumanji World, 
we did our mandrill mayhem, wasn't that? Mandrill mayhem. And we took the girls on. Yeah. You have to be, if I remember rightly, you have to be 1.2 meters in oh. height. So the girls both qualified. And the ride, let's get to that now. OMG. Was not expecting it to be that quick. Was not expecting from the very start. We shot backwards. And I reckon it must have been 2G to 3G. Around that area, it's got to be. Um, Casey liked it to a certain degree. Faye absolutely hated it because she's quite a sensitive girl, like I've told you in previous videos. Um, so I recommend that get that one done first if you're staying on resort because it just sorts out the problem. Does that make sense kind with of. a sensitive person? Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's like you want to get your mantra world done first because it's brand new. So you want to get mandrel mayhem done. Then get the ostrich um, stampede done, and then mamba strike done as well. So you get the whole three of them done in one hit. Otherwise, you're looking at really long queues. Once it's open at ten o'clock to the general public, you're looking at eighty, ninety minute waiting time, which is oh yeah. Crazy, I think but. the girls they enjoyed the ostrich thing. It's, it's like um, you go round in a circle and it sort of bobs up and down. So you're doing this sort of thing. They quite enjoyed that. And then the other one that you filmed me in the video was strike the Mamba cool. Strike. What does that? The only way I can describe it, I think I said Doesn't in it? I think I said in the video, was it like um it's like Ramesses. Ramesses Revenge, that's it. So it doesn't go upside down. Doesn't go upside down, but that's what it reminded me of, that sort of principle. The girls like that. It was a little bit fast for a little ride, I thought, in my opinion. Well, no, I, didn't think I don't think you went on that, but no. in my opinion. So we got that out of the way, job done. Then we went over to the Gruffalo ride, which when you go, when you're checking out your resort, you get like a pamphlet, a piece of paper that tells you your early ride admission rides that are running at 9 to 10 o'clock. So the Gruffalo was one of them. So, and again, that's another one to kind of get out of the way because the queue times can be 45 minutes to 60 minutes, all depending once the park opens up general public. But did we time we did the free back in the Jumanji as we walked up past as it's on route to Gruffalo was the vampire yeah and we noticed suddenly a queue was forming and we thought oh what's this we looked, so, at, we looked at the watch didn't we looked at the time and, and like, it was oh, okay so five to ten minutes something like that yeah around right about then it's so you made the decision I think wasn't it or was yeah it, I think yeah. the first the first night when like the first day wasn't it we turned around and said right we're going to queue up for vampire get that done because that could be 90 minutes to 120 minute wait which we found out um so we thought we'd get vampire out the way we did vampire the girls loved vampire didn't they you and Kate got the front row got front row but yeah so mm. yeah that the vampire I said so that was like five to ten so we queued for that straight onto the vampire I got front row but we had an issue we definitely had an issue I think I said it in the video so basically when you get down to the actual ride the man or lady or whoever will go how is in your party I've also gone four and these two lads that were behind me ran past and I just did not collar him at the time because I didn't realize cause it was dark they were obviously going for front row because at the time I got down there I was making up row one Claire and Faye were having row two so when I got down to the ride there they were and I said to the two lads in question I said excuse me mate you're gonna to have to please move because I've been allocated this by my family it got quite funny so I did no more I told him please can you just leave and get out of that row with that um, a member from the vampire ride obviously saw there was a bit of a commotion going on I obviously then spoke to him and the woman up the far end that gave us to say come down to row one and two and three or four whatever it was she realised that these two lads were not in our group. So they obviously got thrown off of that and told them to go up several roads away from my family, which was great. Um, so bear this in mind, I presume a lot of people that does this like Chesington ride stuff, they know what they're doing. You know, don't try and cause problems like jumping queues and all that. You're going to be caught out. So that was my only negative at the very start of the vampire. But then we got on the ride, and as Claire said, the girls loved it. It's a classic, isn't it? We remember that as when we were kids. What I do, anyway, is just 
it's a classic it is just you have to do it you just have to and then we came off there didn't we and we did the graffalo yeah did the graffalo graffalo's graffalo we know it's bubble works exactly as you said you know what graffalo is fancy water bubbles pfft, all that sort of business got wet as per usual Faye loves it as I said to you before Faye has sort of sensory issues behavioral and she has the stamina so I think she enjoys that so that was a good thing for her so those main rides I think we got them done by round about 10 past 11 ish yeah so by this point I thought there was not a lot of crowd what was your opinion on that it wasn't too bad actually considering because then we went from there we thought we were going to do Tiger Rock which is the, which is the log flume which Casey wanted to do so that's about the other side of the park it's around about a 10 minute walk I suppose isn't yeah. it 10 minutes yeah and it's in like Asia Asia land would you call it Asia land I would say so yeah yeah that area when I did that again girls loved that and then basically it was just like right what do you want to do now because it's just like right you've done the the main kind of rides I want to do Dragon's Fury but I don't think the girls would have done that and I wasn't prepared to leave the, ki the kids alone no. for 80 90 minutes by themselves while we queued up for exactly that they're still not quite old enough to be left by themselves no, no. for that length of time no no so we we noticed by sort of once we got off the tiger log flume theory thing that was round about 12 ish mm. then as claire's already said the queue times just rocketed and we were like wow 80 90 120, 120 some of them so you've got to bear this in mind if you're buying a ticket just for one day i don't know how much the ticket is but we're just going roughly no ticket i looked before we thought we'd do the resort a ticket for a family of four is 135 pound so bear this in mind 135 pounds for just four people for one day and i've spoken to a couple of people when we've obviously been there for two days and the one night they're saying you're lucky to get free rides done for that sort of money so bear that in mind when you're on a budget that's quite steep in my opinion well yeah for free rides yeah it's not worth it and this park is open from what for general public 10 till 6 and if you're queuing especially on peak season which it is it's, it's english south mm -hmm. ways summer holidays it's peak time so 80 90 120 minutes is a long time and if you can only do free rides indeed that's absolutely crazy because we what did we do we queued for tomb blaster yeah tomb blaster tomb raider whatever you want to call it tomb it's like a tomb blaster shoot em up thingy and that what we queued for 120 minutes and it wasn't worth the wait oh it, it, it was terrible it really wasn't worth the wait we all four of us was we kind of knew what we were get what we were looking in getting yeah. into but the kids thought it'd be because we've been to Walt disney world they thought it'd be a bit like buzz light year which but is a banging ride don't get me wrong nowhere nowhere near the theming the same kind of rough idea but nowhere near the theming and we queue for 120 minutes for that yeah. and it was not worth it no. 30 minutes yeah i People think take 15 15 for me <laughs> full day long yeah. to me i thought it was absolute rubbish but there we go on that so obviously we did that the girls did with a raft didn't they oh right yeah it's like smaller log flume yeah that's right that was 45 minutes they waited for that didn't they so that's one that they did by themselves didn't they while we waited yeah and they waited 45 minutes Faye loved it Faye said she'd do it again case not so much because it wasn't worth the 45 no, minute no, wait no, no. she said half an hour fair enough but not mm. 45 minutes and obviously while the girls were on that bumped into my mate yeah so shout out hi craig snurling his name is one of my old mates who works for chess in the world of adventures so a big thumbs up to you mate it was lovely to meet you he gave us a few advice bits on mm -hmm. what to go quickly in the mornings he said to me if you're staying on resort because he works there shamanji all day long go there get it done boom like we've already said at the beginning vampire. of this video vampire and the gruffalo so that's exactly how we did it you know it obviously we had the knowledge before we came but and it worked though didn't it and it it worked in our opinion it worked so just to stay on that resort in the hotel to get that extra hour before anybody turns up like general public 
it pays, you know, as we've already said, £135 for a day ticket to do free work, in my opinion, is pfft, no. No. Not no, at all. Completely. Not at all. What else did the girls go on? I went, went on sea, sea storm, didn't they? Like a boat thing that goes round around circles. Oh, yeah, sort of spins. Like yeah, yeah. The boat turns and... Just, just a little ride. They went on that, didn't they, by themselves. Nothing spectacular. And we then did... Oh, that was it. Rattlesnake. <laughs> Rattlesnake, obviously, is the roller coaster that flips you around. The... We found... I, I liked it, but because I'm a bigger man, um, I felt like it get crushing my ribs chest um well, case your, your legs are by your bloody yeah i i, I couldn't get arms. my legs yeah i couldn't get my legs in the gap <laughs> i could get you know i was like i was, I was like please say you're asking me to move over i said like, could you move, move over? over and she's like no, I'm I can not move. a big lady no and it was just like so bear in mind if you're like sort of my sort of size you can't fit in the thing properly and you're sort of like this <laughs> and you go boom 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 you see two children with kids at the front adults at the back isn't it casey oh. hated it Faye loved it you Is did it? a second one didn't you on the second day yeah Faye, really Faye. Faye found it a lot better on day two but which was great so once we did the rattlesnake we then went to the restaurant didn't we mm -hmm. um and the restaurant's name was smokehouse the smokehouse wasn't it yes mm -hmm and oh, no i said in the video so we bought so i said we walked in we asked if did they have a table for four the gentleman was more than nice about it he was quite good which was nice we sat down he then explained to us um look on the menu then you have to go up to like the self-service area it's like a quick service isn't it? like a quick service thing so i was like oh, okay whatever so i took the girls with me um i think the girls had what did the girls have? They had ten chicken tenders and chips. That's Casey right. had hot dog and chips, and we had barbecue pulled pork brioche and chips. Right, and that all came to forty six pounds and um, something. Four, four cokes, wasn't it? And four cokes, so it's about forty six pounds, give or take fifty pence here and there. We didn't like the dinner at all. The pulled pork was so so dry. I thought it'd be coming. I thought it'd be like in the barbecue sauce or. But they didn't do barbecue sauce because they're like an apple sauce that like you would usually get like a hog roast mm -hmm. it, it was terrible it was terrible and i suffer eating food anyway I, I have to have a little drink sometimes and all the rest of it i was drinking my coke like it was water just to wash this dryness of the pork down i don't su i don't suffer but even i was struggling exactly so my opinion forget that restaurant guys it is not good i'm sorry to slate the restaurant you need to do better where is your barbecue sauce? Well, I think in any theme park, it, it is literally fast food, isn't it? It's literally burgers, chips, hot dogs and chips, pizza and chips, pasta, yeah, um, yeah things like that. You, you're going to get at any theme park. But right, it yeah. is every, every theme park you're going to go to, it's going to be overpriced. Exactly. But I even, it again. But my mate Craig, again, he said, most of the foods on site, it's going to be like this but we've heard from other people when we were queuing up in different rides they were on about the vampire it's like a vampire cafeteria restaurant place. thingy again it is like burger and chips burger chip chips. pizzas so but maybe we're a little bit better so maybe we might do that next time so yeah so that that was that so that was sort of pretty much our day one we then went back to the hotel as we were going back when we came through the like checking area wasn't it where we came through on an earlier mission these gates were suddenly closed and we we're like oh well we came through here i thought they would have like a resort direct access and then you would just show like because we got given wristbands didn't we Each that's right day one was different to day two wristbands so you couldn't use the same one over again so i've naturally presumed well you go back the way that we came in and you just show your wristband or you show your hotel confirmation yeah that wasn't the case was no, it no, you no. basically had to walk out of the park through the main gates which was by weird. sea life center wasn't it that's it sea life center so yes. you go out through the main gates hang a left then back into the hotel that way whereas i thought there was more of a direct access to and fro to the hotel yeah it which and you just show your band or you show your mm. hotel confirmation exactly i just found it strange why we can go maybe, through maybe there is maybe we didn't find it but 
No, but we weren't the only ones, were we? No, there was a couple of us exactly another time. couple said about that as well. So basically, guys, we we went round. Basically, you went into the car park where the car was parked at the very beginning when we got at obviously at the resort. It was no biggie, was it? It was only like a two minute walk. But again, if you're paying this money to stay on resort, you can't expect it to have like a direct access. Exactly. To and from the hotel, especially if you've got a little one who needs to have a nap or what have you, and you don't like nap in your pushchair. Indeed. You can then basically do a direct access from the park to the hotel. You didn't have to go out of the park, then come through the car park to go to the hotel. That's it. Maybe it's something you should look into, mm. maybe. So, obviously, round about this time was about six ish, I think it was. So then, obviously, where we stayed on resort, we got the free swimming. Mm -hmm. um, so, we thought, okay, girls like swimming. So, we put our cozies on and off we went swimming. Walked in there, the pool was very small. What was your opinion on that one? It is small. The hotel is an ex hotel, isn't it? It used to be Holiday Inn. So, it's, yeah. it's like your average pool, I suppose. It had like a swimming pool, then it had like a splash on the other side the jacuzzi wasn't working you went you used the sauna and the steam room i enjoyed that the Thank you pool me. was freezing it was cold so bear in mind i was in the sauna for 10 15 minutes as back max you know so i was hot i got in that pool and i was like <gasps> that was cold so the pool <laughs> you have to book again so you have to book that prior time slots to go it? in for time slots so you have an hour time slot so we booked it for, I can't remember what time we booked it now. Would I book it again? Probably no. for the kids, because they like swimming, but for me and you, no. No. I only lasted about 20 minutes because it was just so cold. This is it. I basically spent all the time in saunas and steam rooms because I, I quite enjoy that. So it's quite nice just to get away from the kids for five minutes, chill. Spoke to a couple of different family members. Um, that was staying there like you know, I met this lovely lady she's telling me that she's down for four nights I was like oh wow and I thought I didn't she didn't tell me how much it was but she was doing a thing called glamping which I never knew nothing about mm, I did glamping. and obviously when you looked at the prices mm. later on that night I can't there's remember there's not much difference to be quite honest not much difference at all mind you about 50 pound difference that shows you but then you're in the cold I don't know that's how it works in a tent well, I've never obviously I can't comment on glamping. I've never done it. People obviously love it. I like my hotel. I like my comforts. I know she likes her comforts. She won't go about your hair straighteners this week. Hair straighteners, hair dryer. Exactly. And my own personal toilet. There we go. So then, obviously, we then booked um, our evening meal, which was at eight. It's half eight, no, eight fifteen. Eight fifteen, that's right. And that right. was at Safari Bar and Grill. Again, you just turn up, tell them your surname. They show you how many people for. Show you to a tables. Gave gave us a lovely table night overlooking the savannah. That's right. That was lovely. We saw giraffes. Oh, what are those cows with horns? I can't remember uh, what their names were. If it, if you know what the, the cows with the horns are, that sounds. I think it's not, not buffalo. That's he's too big. Probably like an antelope, maybe something along those lines. It was a cow with horns, but Giraffes. you know, it, it was a nice, nice view, nice sit down. So yeah. that was a good thing. Um, I waited and came. This lady, um, she seemed nice enough, you mm. know, and she served us quite quickly. You know, got us. Food quite, was quick. Food was very quick. I went for the full rack of ribs. I think that was about twenty four quid. Um, you went for their gourmet chicken, burger, yeah, was it? Yeah, chicken tin burger, wasn't it? So I can't remember how much that yeah, was. That was. But I think that was around about 13. Casey had macaroni cheese and garlic bread. Faye had chicken tenders and chips and baked beans. Yeah, and Faye, because Faye's very fussy anyway, you know, obviously everyone has their own little ones that fussy eaters or fussy or whatever. Faye said, Dad, the beans, no way. I think it's because it didn't have enough sauce. It mainly it looked like beans. Does that make sense? It looked like beans. Even though it was beans, there wasn't enough like baked bean sauce in it. I have no idea what that means. That's how it, how, that's how you it know. So obviously, I tried the beans, and to me, it just tasted like cheap baked beans. But <laughs> Faye obviously likes high baked beans, so 
what can you do on that one? Oh, dear God. So yeah, obviously we ate that. I felt my ribs were perfect, lovely. What I had, I completely enjoyed. What did you have to drink? You had a Magnus Tide, didn't you? That's right. That went I down the tree. I had a pint of Bud Light. Mm -hmm. You and the girls didn't have like Coke or something. Something like that, yeah. Did they have a dessert? Uh, did they have desserts? No, because they were full, that's right. Yeah. Oh, that was it. Really? I had a dessert, yes. Oh, I had brownie. the caramel brownie thingy, didn't I? Yeah, that wasn't nice. With ice cream. What the hell? Oh, it was like a bomb thing, with it. so mm. you cut into it, it was meant to melt. Fondant. What the hell was that? It was dry. It was not wet, it was dry, it was... Don't go for that. <clears throat> but that, so dinner's extra. So dinner came so, to ninety-one pounds. Cost me ninety-one pounds. That's a lot of money. And bearing in mind, don't bring cash to the hotel. No, it's all. I made that big mistake where I drew out money, thinking I can then watch my dollars around the park. They don't set cash. Nowhere. All card. Or only card everywhere. So bearing in mind, guys, don't bring cash because you ain't gonna be able to spend it. You might be able to spend it on. Ook a duck, if you're lucky. You can do those things, can't you? It's like the um, arcades. That's fine, obviously. And like ook a duck, or where you have to throw a ball in like a bucket thingy to win them. Yeah, but that was really expensive. Yeah, it was. I can't remember what it was. It was like four balls for like eight quid. I think six six balls was like nearly twenty pound. Twenty pound? No, I'm not being funny, guys. We're, we're going through hard times. You're saying twenty pound to throw a ball. Throw a ball in a bloody Bucket. And then to get a cuddly toy. And to get a cuddly toy, yeah. that's probably only worth about three quid. Because our girls didn't really seem that bothered by it. Which was good thumbs for up us. for daddy, or thumbs up for her. <laughs> Which was good for us. I think they've outgrown that, that bit. They wanted to do the arcades, didn't they? Yeah. But I... there wasn't that. The arcades weren't. No, that's it. The arcades right. weren't all that in the safari place. So, yeah. So then, obviously, that was the end of our night. We went to our room. We, had a, we booked a zebra room, didn't we? A zebra themed room. Yeah, zebra themed room. Should we talk about that? It was nice. Don't get me wrong, it's nice. I thought we booked a zebra themed room overlooking the savannah, and I think you did as well. So did I. That was the impression I got when I rang up and spoke to the gentleman prior to the, us coming to the stay. And. It wasn't it overlooked the car park. It overlooked park, the car park. Which was no biggie, was no, it? At the end apart of from we had one car for about 25 minutes, his alarm kept going off every yeah, five seconds. Just... Which is a bit at that time of the evening because that was about half nine the time we got back to our room so obviously as you walk in you probably as you saw in my last video obviously you walk in the girls room is on the left bunk okay. beds and we realised at that time of night we were a bit shagged we ran and parked it's all sorts of steps which is nearly 20,000 steps we did the pair of us mm. the girls then found this slip on our um, side in the main master room and it was like an adventure scavenger, thing scavenger hunt that. thing. So basically, you've got to go around, count the zebras, the elephants. zebras, the elephant, all, and then you have to punch in the number, which is in the girls' room. There's like a little safe at the bottom underneath the TV. So Casey and Vay counted all this, you know, and they kept punching the thing, and the thing kept going, nee, 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 nee. it wasn't working. So I said, Don't worry about it, guys. We're going to bed. I'll look in the morning. I'm shattered. So we came into the following day, I then counted all of this, I then typed this thing in the safe, still didn't do anything, because you're understanding that's where you would get uh, the, the merchandise for staying on resort. That's how I was hearing it from mm. other people. Um, so the safe didn't open, did it? No. I don't care how many times I did it, I wanted to throw it out the window, it was no good. So the girls got disappointed, I then went down to reception, and I spoke to reception down there saying, look, we tried to do this hunt thing. And she went, oh, you're not the only one. Apparently they've been having a lot of problems with the safe. So in the end, they end up giving me like a lanyard thingy. Which they can put pins on, can't they? Pins on. Um, two Freddo chocolate. Two Freddo chocolate bar thingies. Which isn't bad. Which is all right, you know, so. They liked it. Exactly. They're now collecting pins now, aren't they? So. Which is, makes a nice change, really. But the room was nice, wasn't it? It was nice, clean, tidy. Yeah. As, you, as Matt said, you walk in, you've got the um, children's room on the left, which is bunk bed, TV, and like this little play safe thing. Walk further on, you've got a um, full size bath, overhead shower, um, sink, and toilet. The shower 
isn't even quite powerful if it hit me. Oh, it wasn't warm. No, it I, was I very lukewarm. Put so. it on the hottest setting going. I put it on the 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 fastest setting going. It just about mm. worked. So in our but. room with the shower, then it wasn't a walk-in shower. It was a bathtub, mm. um, as you saw in the video. And as Claire said, not very warm at all. One sink, um, six a sink. Mm. That it seemed clean. Toilet seemed clean. It, the whole room was clean. Was clean. You couldn't fault the room at all. No. Me working at an ex hotel chain for what 14 some odd years you kind of get to know the tricks of the trade mm. as such towels you've got given hand towels five out of towels. five um, so five being great three they seemed a bit rough on the skin um <laughs> you got sensitive skin i've got sensitive skin you're such a baby i'm getting old guys sensitive skin so three out of five on that and obviously you'll see when we stay at other places later on when through through the time here on the channel, I'll be grading things out of five on quite a lot of stuff. So what else do we have in the room? We had iron, ironing boards, we had coffee making facilities, didn't we? Like coffee. Oh tea, the hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. They what like else? the hot chocolate. It was nice hot chocolate. It was, it was um, Cadbury's, wasn't it? Cadbury's, yes. Um had a couple of um hangers didn't we where you can hang your clothes and then you had um our room which was a double bed, it wasn't a king size, it's definitely no, no. a double. Because because we're because I'm slightly bigger. That became a bit of a problem because I, every time I rolled, I'd take the cover. Every time she rolled, she took the cover. So bear that in mind when you stay at the resort. Hello, what else do you have? Oh, fr mini fridge. Oh, mini fridge didn't that was nice, ice cold. So um, what we did, little, little, little tip here for you guys, when we were down in the restaurant in the morning for the breakfast, and we'll get onto that in a minute, I filled the bottles up the night before and stuck them in the fridge. Ice cold water. Uh, had a hair dryer, didn't it? Had a hair dryer, but it's one of those hair dryers you have to keep your bum pushed into the button to dry your hair, which mm -hmm. is a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Full size mirror. Um, the desk. The only thing the desk didn't have. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Carry on. Uh, the only thing the desk didn't have was USB ports. No, no, just no, uh, no, no. Ports. Yes, it did. It had did it? it had four. So when you had the really? plugs above, yeah, it was above the plugs. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so it has got USB, but the USBs were quite slow charging, but I presume that's normal. I like that fast charging, bing, 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 bing. Obviously when I'm vlogging, it does take a lot of power. Um, getting to the, oh, talking Wi-Fi. So I did the video on night on day one, going into night one. I tried to upload the video that night, forget it. There was no way in the world I could get it to upload on this Wi-Fi. So it's free compliments, so I can't grumble, but it's all right for a bit of Facebook, that sort of thing, but trying to do YouTube and uploading, no. all that sort of, forget it. It's no good at all. So that's to bear in mind with the Wi-Fi. Then there's a different Wi-Fi in the park that you have to connect for that, which was, I found a bit of a palaver, but I can understand you being in a hotel and being in the park, I suppose. That was another thing. Then obviously, you know, we went off to bed, wasn't it? Yeah. And I think I slept I slept okay to a certain degree. Pillows were alright. Yeah, at the end of the day, you you can't beat your own bed, can you, at the end of the day? But it was no. nice, it was pleasant, it was clean, that was the main thing. It was a clean room and you could smell that it was clean. So Yeah, yeah. All in all the room Yeah, it was good. But thing to do as well is to download the Chessington app. Ah, on yes. Google Play or if you're Apple. It's on like an Apple I, 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 App, store? Yeah, like iOS store, if you call it on that. Um, and on there you have basically, they do not give you any paper maps no more. So everything is on this app. So you have to rely on your phone. Which, yes and no, it has its good things. And, you know, if you're constantly on your phone, your battery constantly goes down. You have your brightness on, you've got every GPS on so on and so forth so yes yeah, so the map is on your on this app on your phone and on there is your queue time so it has like um, like little children's um queue times for their rides then you have family ones and then you have the brave ones just keep going through them just to get the right time the wait times and to be quite honest over two days average 60 90 minutes we couldn't get nothing, well, especially for our age bracket, what we no, were looking at. 
no, no. anything under 60 90 minutes after 11 o'clock really isn't it you're pretty much you ain't gonna get on a lot no so obviously that was day one you could then also tag your tickets onto the app as well so everything once you've got your confirmation for it give you a booking reference number add that into your app and it comes up with your tickets as well that's right yes and they will obviously scan that when you go into the park regardless on your phone so everything is on your phone as Claire's just said so yeah before you go make sure you download the Chesington app because you will not get a map nope. you will not know what your wait queue times are unless you have the app and that was quite good so we went off to bed rolled on day two so day two we had to go down for breakfast and mm. you know that was a different story um, dinner was good breakfast no was awful so we were in the same restaurant which was the safari bar, bar and grill again so same again i think we did about seven o'clock in the morning we had the breakfast um go down hi i'm i'm matt blah 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 yeah i'm with family yeah sat in the stack the same place all mm. sweet as a nut no worries what zebras that morning lots of zebras yeah that that was the good so that was the only good thing about that morning at the whole experience of breakfast so faye went off to go and get what pancakes thing? or whatever yeah, it was yeah, pancakes, not what she thing. came back and said dad they've got no syrup no chocolate no duh, 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 just plain and faye could be quite fussy and stuff like that and i found out baffling so i spoke to two or three different members of staff at the hotel or who was working in the restaurant at the time and they said no that's how it comes and i thought wow you have lots of kids here you don't have hot chocolate um, not hot chocolate chocolate sauce and you don't have syrup for pancakes mm. or even a bit of peanut butter come on so yeah. that was my first grump breakfast was overcooked wasn't it bacon was like bullets yeah so we had i, I went for a full english i thought I'm going to eat well so I don't have to pay the extortion money in the part that I paid the day before regarding that pork ball that we already spoke about. So I had bacon, eggs, mushrooms, hash browns, um, what else was it? Sausages. Sausages. You had beans? Some beans and black pudding, that was it. So I just get onto the, the black pudding. Dry, nasty, not very nice, which I find baffling. The hash browns burnt. burnt. It was like chewing on cardboard. I'm sorry to say it. Then we get on to the egg. Well done. I could have thrown it and it would have bounced off all my walls. I know they've got to keep the eggs to a certain degree, haven't they? Because of health and safety, because they can't serve up like runny eggs like you would do at home. Like no. Katie likes runny eggs, so she can dip her like uh -huh. soldiers in and things yeah, like yeah. that. It was. As we call them. But, um, nasty so you yeah. literally you, you couldn't even scoop out the middle with a spoon it was like 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 trying to dig into a brickwork that's how i describe it mm -hmm. and that was not and the white was just so rubbery it was nasty mm. um sausages they were cheap nasty you can tell by it, it it was like a tesco's value that's how i describe it i can get it though from, from that from their sort of hotel, they, they just want to, it's mainly families, isn't it? So it's just basically a quick buffet. But so you think the amount of money that you pay, £488, it would have been... I a want a half-decent breakfast. Yeah. Well, what I just want? want an all-right sausage. I just want a nice bit of bacon that's cooked and not crispified to the point you can't even eat it. You couldn't even cut it. The plain. egg, forget it. So half of my breakfast was no good. I couldn't eat it. You know, so that proper got up my hoot. So bearing in mind that when you're eating in this safari restaurant for breakfast, forget it. I was not a happy man. What did Casey have? Casey had pastries, didn't she? So it was like a pan chocolat or croissant, didn't she? Didn't she yeah. have some toast? She had two eggs, didn't she? But she couldn't eat the eggs. No. Um, and then I got a bowl of fruit, didn't I? It was like sliced melons, uh pineapple grapes i basically had what casey had really yeah. you know, i had bacon no i had two two rashes of bacon and mushrooms and i had a couple of um two little pan chocolates and some melon that's it so what i did guys i thought right i was annoyed with my breakfast so i said to the girls right 
I'm going to stock up for the pub. So I went and got um, muffins, croissant. these chocolate croissant thingies, you know, like you know, three or four of each things. I wrapped them up in tissue, shoved them in my bag. That was our snacks around the park, you know. So I got one back on that one, you know. So that was a bit of a bonus. Mm. And it, it worked. It kept the girls happy while we are queuing in even more. Uh, queue times were horrific. But it, we knew it was going to be long queue times, didn't we? Because it's summer, se summer holidays, peak yep. season. So we knew exactly what we were getting ourselves yeah. in for. So before we got into the park for the second day, um, we walked through the um, Aztec Hotel. And I went, hang on a minute. Restaurant, didn't we? And I just started looking at the stuff. Like, you know, their buffet. And I thought, they had salamis, they had cheeses. They, they, they had completely different. And I'm going, well, this all looks all right. And I said, we've eaten in the wrong place. So you know, book your breakfast, in my opinion, just on glance, go there. Yeah, because everything you've got to book. So you've got to book your dinner, time, time reservation. You've got to book your breakfast, time reservation. We did book it for half past eight. And that was before I knew that you could get early admission at nine into the Patrick Chesnerton mm. Park. So that's when I then turned around. We went spoke to the, the restaurant people, didn't we, to see whether we could change our reservation in the morning. And he said, yeah, no problem. What time would you like? And we said, half seven. Mm. And half seven was the best time to go because when half seven we went in, it was quite empty. Yeah. By the time we came out, it was about an hour, wasn't it? Half eight, Something like, maybe like quarter that. past eight. Yeah, yeah. It was getting full, and the queue to get into the restaurant was basically near enough to the VIP. No, it wasn't. It was near the butterfly enclosure. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Definitely, so yeah. definitely do an early, an yeah, early. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, going back into the park, if that makes sense, you know. So we did that. So as I said to you before, eat there for your breakfast. Looks great. So we then obviously went back in for day two, back into the park, if that makes sense, you know, which is uh, another thing. So again, you went through these gates. But before you went through these gates, you got the wristband again to say that you're staying on resort. Security. That went through the bag first check. bit of security, bag check, then you go up and wait for the next bit to actually get into the park at 10 to 9, is it? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. And basically, guys, we did exactly the same route. So we went Jumanji, all the rides. The girls didn't want to do uh, the Mayhem roller coaster, did they? No. They went on Austria Stampede and Man Strike while we went and done um, uh, Mandarin Mayhem. Major, yeah. yeah, so we I did could that. I could trust them. We both basically said to girls, look, do not go out of Jumanji World. You basically queue up, go do an ostrich stampede. Once you've done that one, go and do Mamba Strikes. And we'll meet you in the centre of Jumanji World. We've got a massive logo, haven't we, of Jumanji World. Yeah. A couple of the seats around there. And they knew... They went allowed. And they were very good about they it. They were really, really good. We got off, we found out they were on the other ride. Um, the, the, the Mountain Strike. The Mountain Strike. So that was quite cool, you know, which was good. So we did that. We then um, went off to go and do the Vampire. So we did the Holy Jumanji, obviously. Then we went off to Vampire. And then... Um, the gates were left open. The gates were left open. So we all naturally... It wasn't just us, as quite a few other families. We all naturally presumed... That the um, mm. uh, the ride was open, yeah. was running. Yes, and so basically we walked on, we walked all the way down. We thought it was a bit strange. It was a bit dark. <laughs> it's the vampire. So we got down to it, and we're all standing there. And then the people that work there said, "Oi, why are you guys here? There must be about." Twenty of us. We queued for fifteen minutes. Fifteen yeah. minutes prior to that, and he said, "What? Well, we we well, got the van. It was gate, open. The gate was open. So he took us out through the fast track area, and said, right. And as soon as he got out, he said, right. Sorry, you shouldn't have been here. We we're like, what? And then by this time, the queue had formed. We were back to Gruffalo. Back to the Gruffalo, and we went. Well, we we were. At, he said, doesn't matter. And he shut the door. So bearing in mind, I thought, oh, here we go again. So. 
Nor to you, mate, for doing that. Because what you should have done is escorted this little group where we were waiting back through to the, the... front entrance. Just said to the people yeah. that were at the front. Unfortunately, these guys are on resort. They were already here. There's a miscommunication, all that sort of stuff. But no, bad on you, mate. I had to do it again. So I rung my mate who works at Chesington. I'm not going to say his name again, which is Craig anyway. Um, he then got in contact with someone that um, worked in the no. park in that area. What was his name? Oh, his name. Oh, Cameron. Cameron, that's it. And he said, are you, Matt? I went, that's me. And he said, right. And I told him, this is what happened. But then he said, right, wait here at the fast track entrance. You'll be going back in. I'm not having that. That's not very nice. That's not very Chesterton World happiness. Or At the end of the day, they rectified it, didn't they? They rectified So we got straight on. Straight on before the queue even started. With the ride, it all got sorted out. So a good, good shout out to Cameron. You, you know, you rectified the issue. I think going forward, the, whoever was cleaning it needs yeah. to kind of make sure the gates are yeah, shut. Exactly, yes. Um, what would we do next time? Because the girls want to go back next year. What would we do next time? I would book a Savannah stand Standing room. room, exactly. I wouldn't go fiend. No, no. Necessarily. We want you to get a Savannah, Savannah view room. So I think going forward, a standard Savannah room. Plus you can save yourself a little bit of money instead of going fiend. That's it. Um, I would book, We what well, the girls want to do, two nights, <laughs> three days, don't they? Exactly, yes. So we thought, okay, we'll look at that next year when the prices come out. Um, I will book probably one dinner at the Safari Bar and Grill and then book another dinner at the Beef Eater, which is a five minute walk away. Yeah, we noticed that down the road, five Beef Eater. So that might be a bit cheaper than paying nearly £100 for a dinner. Yeah. So bear that in mind, guys. What else? I would book my breakfast probably at a temple. At a temple, temple Aztec thingy. Which is a buffet, so you just go and help yourself. So yeah, guys. So I would take a lunch with me on my first day from home. Exactly. I would take a load of snacks with me. Oh yeah. You got a little I noticed, which is a ten minute drive past resort. Yeah. Um, just to grab like maybe sausage rolls, crisps, things like that. You want to take around the park to eat around the park. Yeah. I personally wouldn't pay to eat on park. No, no, it is. It, you're you're paying top dollar. Yeah. So go there. You go, guys. So that was our faults. On Chesterton World of Adventure. One thing I think the, the resort need to have in the evening is entertainment. Even if it's just play a film. Because no, I think no, they do do that. They do play a film. But I think it'd be nice if they actually did some sort of like singing or a little some band. sort of like disco or something. They've got a massive. Well, I didn't go in it, but it looks like a conference area. Oh yeah, they me. have the conference area. So that's right. I didn't go in there because I think they had some meetings going, so I, I just know. didn't want to film in that. But maybe do like a little disco area for children or a live singer band group. Just something to keep entertained. Maybe bring out the Gruffalo or Elma, the elephant, the patchwork elephant thing, just yeah, to yeah. keep the kids entertained. Because there's not much entertainment in the evening. The pool yeah. closes at eight. The little nature village thing closes at eight during summer se summer season so after that there's not much else for the kids no. to do so basically you're back to your room and then you got some tv a little tv day morning 30 inch to 32 so bear this in mind guys there's not a lot of entertainment in the evening at all so that was our review on chesed world adventure i'm going to give it out of five the whole thing i'm going to go for a four regardless of the two bits that I've explained the reason I've gone for a four because the breakfast let it down it could have been better as we've already explained what would you give it out of five probably a four so a four as well breakfast kind of let it down and just little things isn't it just yeah so things. hopefully next time when we stay it might be a five who knows so Cheserton you're listening sort your breakfast out all right guys so thank you so much again for coming in watching our video Remember again, like and subscribe to everything, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.